Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is Why Hate the World. How are you guys doing? I want to make a very quick video tonight to talk about the events in Colorado surrounding Donald Trump. So those of you who don't know, Donald Trump has been kicked off of the ballot in Colorado. This is due to a lawsuit that some people brought and the Supreme Court of Colorado has decided that Donald Trump engaged in an insurrection and thus, as per the 14th Amendment, is not eligible to run for president. So this was a three to four ruling of the Supreme Court of Colorado. They have determined that Trump's actions on January 6 qualified as him partaking in an insurrection. I think I agree with that. I mean, if you think of what did he actually do, inciting a riot of people to go break into the Capitol to murder Congress and also murder the vice president in order to keep Donald Trump in power kind of sounds like an insurrection to me. This ruling has been put on hold pending an appeal um, as according to the law in Colorado, a decision has to be made by January 5th. Whether or not he will be allowed to be on the ballot or not, that is the cutoff date in order to get on the ballot for the 2024 election. So what does the 14th Amendment actually say? Well, uh, let's go ahead and pull it up here. This is section three of the 14th Amendment, disqualification from holding office. No person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of the president or vice president or hold any office, civil or military under the United States or any state, who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two-thirds of each house, remove such disability." That's basically the disqualification clause that was added after the Civil War. The idea, of course, was to prevent people who sided with the Confederacy against the United States from then serving and taking power. The President of the United States definitely falls under that provision, but we shall see. So this decision is being appealed and no doubt will go to the Supreme Court although they've only got about two weeks to hear it so who knows if they're actually going to pick it up or not chances are they probably will because if you don't remember we have an extremely conservative Supreme Court at the moment three of those six conservative justices were picked by Donald Trump and that gives him a giant advantage here. Chances are they're going to, to rule in his favor. Now, of course, in any civilized country, those three justices would recuse themselves. But please remember that our Supreme Court has no such rule. Any other lower courts, they would have to recuse themselves. But the Supreme Court, Supreme Court does not have any rules at all. Supreme Court doesn't have any kind of oversight or any kind of ethics, rules, anything like that at all. They don't have to recuse themselves. They can do whatever they want. And I really don't think that the three Supreme Court justices who were handpicked by Donald Trump specifically to take over the Supreme Court and give it a conservative majority are going to sit back and allow him to be subject to this ruling. But you never know. On the other hand, this, this particular Supreme Court has been very hands-off when it comes to issues having to do with voting. You know, specifically things like gerrymandering and voter suppression, stuff like that. So who knows? They may decide not to pick it up, in which case this stands. So what would that mean? If this ruling actually did stand and Donald Trump was not allowed on the ballot in Colorado... As far as the actual election goes, it wouldn't mean very much. Colorado is a blue state. It was going to go to Biden anyway. Chances are nine, nine times out of ten, it was probably going to go to the Democrat anyhow. I mean, I guess it could influence the election in several ways. Um, other states may have similar lawsuits, and those may also be decided against Donald Trump. So he may get kicked off of other states if they allow it to stand. If it doesn't spread to other states, 
at the very least, Joe Biden wouldn't have to spend any money campaigning in Colorado. So that may strengthen his campaign in other states, maybe in swing states. Who knows? But I don't think it'll make that big of a difference because I, I really don't think that the Supreme Court is not going to rule on it. I think they are going to rule on it, and I think they're going to rule in Trump's favor. Um, call me crazy. But somehow I think that a conservative-leaning Supreme Court is going to rule in the favor of the Republicans. It's not like the Supreme Court hasn't done this before. I mean, if you remember in 2000, they basically intervened and handed that election to George W. Bush. I'm still bitter over that because not only did Al Gore win the popular vote nationally, if they would have kept counting those votes in Florida... They would have found that he would have won that state as well. And we saw what happened when the person who gets the least amount of votes becomes the president. We've seen that happen twice. It's very bad news for the rest of us. So somehow I don't think that's going to make very much of a difference. The last thing I want to comment on is I've seen a few people online express the opinion that if we allow this to happen if we allow donald trump to get kicked off of the ballot in colorado it's going to anger the maga people and this could lead to violence and to that i say the correct answer is go fuck yourself that's the correct answer to people who threaten violence because they don't get their way because their politician or their candidate who's a fucking criminal gets what he deserves i think the best way to, to respond to that is to just put up a big middle finger and to dare them to do something because we are a nation of laws and that means that you have to obey the law even when the law does not find in your favor you know after 2000 i brought up 2000 for a reason right i basically think that election was stolen it very well was in my opinion the Supreme Court intervened in that election and handed it to the Republican, the person who got the least amount of popular vote, and, like I said, would probably have lost Florida. There were, there were independent counts that went past that, where they kept counting the votes even though it didn't matter, and in every single one of those recounts, Al Gore got more votes. And if that just would have kept going, if the Supreme Court would have kept their fucking noses out of it, George W. Bush never would have been president, and we'd be living in a much different world today. After that happened, did the Democrats throw a giant fit? Did they scream and threaten violence anywhere? Were there Democrats going on mass shootings or blowing up bridges or suicide bombing themselves or anything like that? No. It sucked. Everybody hated it. You know, we, we sucked it up, and we got active politically. And the next president after George W. Bush was a Democrat because people got organized and they voted. That's how you're supposed to address that, right? When decisions come down and the wrong person that you don't support ends up getting elected, what you're supposed to do is to go back, organize harder, and get your person elected next time. That's the way you address your grievances, in a democracy, you use the democratic process. And if the MAGA people, the hardcore conservative right-wing Republicans are going to threaten and engage in violence because Cheeto dusted Jesus doesn't get to be on the ballot in a certain state because he's a fucking criminal, then the only right answer to that is to basically tell them to go fuck off and if they don't like it they can kiss my giant hairy flabby butt cheeks and the cop and that's because if you're going to go out if you're going to engage in violence if you're going to start shooting people over something like this then you're a goddamn terrorist see you know the right wing in this country has been wanting to start a civil war for years and they always fucking threaten it i don't know if you remember but in 2016, they basically threatened civil war if Donald Trump lost. In 2020, they threatened civil war if Donald Trump lost. Every single election, they always say, oh, well, if we can't win at the ballot box, then we're going to win with the bullet box or whatever the fuck, right? Every single election, 
they they threaten violence if they don't win well basically fuck you that is, is the right answer fuck you do it is what i say come on bring it you fucking assholes let's see what you got <laughs> kiss my giant fucking ass you can't give in to fear and bend over for bullies who throw a fucking tantrum if they don't get their way and I really do think that it's mostly bluster. That these these people out there, you know, oh, when do we get to use the guns, those assholes, right? And I really do think that the vast majority of those freaks are armchair soldiers. People who are never good enough to actually join the military themselves. Who have a people who have gun fetishes, shit like that. People who drive around with the Trump signs, even though the election was fucking six years ago. They never took the sign down. It's all faded and like stickers are peeling off their cars and shit like that, right? The assholes who are buying the Donald Trump NFTs of him like, you know, with a body like Rambo and stuff like those fucking morons, the Yal Qaeda folks. Do you really think those people could actually execute an effective revolution? No, no, they can't. All right. Half of those motherfuckers couldn't even walk up the goddamn stairs. <laughs> <laughs> let alone engage in a guerrilla warfare, because that's what it would be. It would be guerrilla warfare. Most of these people are over the age of 50. Half of them are, like, morbidly fucking obese. They got the guns, yeah, so. You know who also have guns? Police. The army. Do you think the army is going to be on their side? Fuck no. It's a fantasy. We can't be afraid of these fucking people. If they're going to scream and cry because the guy they vote for gets the least amount of votes. Fuck them. Democracy is worth protecting, in my opinion. If these people are basically going to turn into terrorists because they can't win an election, bring it, is all I gotta say. Ultimately, I don't think this particular event's going to come to anything. I'm, I would give it, if I was a betting man, I would give it a 99% chance the Supreme Court overturns this. And even if they don't, it's not going to really make that much of a difference in the general election. But I kind of hope it does. I kind of hope that other states start seeing these same kind of lawsuits. If the Supreme Court doesn't decide to actually overturn this one, if they decide to not pick it up, then I kind of hope that some other states start doing the same. Maybe we might actually get some swing states to kick Donald Trump off. And then maybe the Republicans might decide, hey, we should run somebody else. Because I really think the most important thing this next election cycle is to keep Donald Trump from being president. It'll be bad if somebody like Ron DeSantis or Vivek Ramaswamy becomes president or Nikki Haley or something like that. It'll be bad. They'll be, they'll be horrible, asshole, conservative Republicans too. But they probably will not try to destroy democracy like Donald Trump has repeatedly said he's going to. I think we should believe the man when he says he's going to be a dictator, when he says his entire second term is going to be all about revenge. I really think we should believe him and do everything we can to keep his ass as far away from that Oval Office as possible. Last thing I want to say here real quick is don't let any of this stuff discourage you. Don't give up. Don't think that Donald Trump is going to end up in prison or that he's going to die of a heart attack or something before the election. Assume he's going to be the Republican nominee because he most likely is. Get out there, organize people, and vote. It's up to us to keep this fucking guy from becoming president again. That's all I got, folks. Adios. Hello, folks. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, please consider buying something from my SD shop, supporting me on Patreon liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much, and see you next time.